Yo! JD here, Tyrol Limus, and as you can see, we are back on F1 2021 as always. And before I get started with this video, really want to thank some extra rotation members who have recently joined the YouTube membership. This goes by the name of Dylan Day, Dizia Baku, Miller Salami, Big P, X Mazza, and Racebug. Thank you so much for joining the YouTube membership and for everyone who is already a part of that. It's a very, very positive place to be. If you want to get first priority invites to online lobbies and also a discount for my one-to-one -one coaching, which I released last week. Thank you so much for the response to that over at coachlimitless.com where you can have a one-to-one -one session with me. The response has been absolutely overwhelming there, so thank you so much. Make sure you use discount code CHRISTMAS21 because you will get a 15% discount. And yeah, I hope that it continues yeah, to help tires. people and people 7%. continue yeah, so to enjoy it. But moving maps, back to this video, this is so. League Racing Returned. We arrived at our time would have been Jeddah, anyway, so. which was a very, very entertaining if that's the right way or white word to use for this weekend's grand prix i was really looking forward to driving this track it's a track that i feel is probably one of my best on raw speed but coming into this race here i think round 17 of this brs championship managed to take the championship last time out at mexico so no real pressure on here and entering this race i was feeling a bit rusty mainly because i've been doing a lot of my one-to-one -one coaching which i do on pc ps4 and xbox i hadn't really spent that much time on xbox and this will lead me into another video that will be coming out very soon there are quite big differences between the platforms in terms of feeling connectivity and just overall experience Coming back to Xbox, it felt very alien to me and I definitely wasn't fully up to speed here. So I was struggling quite a lot. Most of it was with the Some wheel things. delay because on Xbox, I feel the wheel delay is far more than it is on PS4 and PC, which is a pretty significant factor. But again, we'll be saving that for a video where I'll go into quite a bit of detail with footage of exactly what I mean. So, coming into this track, pace still felt good, but I just didn't feel fully hooked up to what I would likewise probably normally be. So, we're doing a medium lap in Q2 because we want to try and start on the alternate strategy. The 27.8, which is actually quite a respectable time on these tyres, and we ended up getting through as the fastest nice. medium runner. Oh, so, four people head of ET Rusty. And Levy and Alpha Nemesis, or Nemesis, if I can say that right. A Critch, NRX Critch, man on four. He actually had some invalidations in that Q2. Or I think he'd even in Q1, so I think he was actually knocked out in Q1. So having a bit of a nightmare. Don't think he practiced so much. But if you look here, I want you to remember this corner. So you can see how much we cut it there. Pretty much as much as you can cut it. And it's absolutely fine and that was my first run in q3 and we come across science at 26 9 so not a bad bank at all so now we're going to start my final lap in q3 remember that turn four again because this is the reason why league rating and just online is just becoming very frustrating for me so i really want people to try and point something out that i might be missing here so we get a good start to the lap you can see we're seven hundreds up Going into turn four, doesn't seem too bad of a cut. This is what it was the lap before, which was fine. Oh my god, it's so inconsistent, man. And yeah. How it's... was that an evaluation? I, I don't know. I, I really, really don't know. Some, and... Most of the time, it's not even an evaluation. What? Some people an said oh. that it's because of the speed, and it's a shame because this was such a good first sector. Some people say it's because of the speed, but... Alright, I'm just going to send it now. 
our speed was actually faster on the first lap going into there, so... I really don't know, to be honest. Oh, this would have been such a good lap, man. Ah. Uh, I swear, like, in that turn four, I cut it like that, and it just doesn't do it half the time. Yeah, it's... I, I have to look back a little, little bit more, but it's just a bit... That would have been bad as well. Oh, this would have been such a nice lap. Yeah, it's a shame, because this would have been such a good lap. 26.6. Rossi does a 26.600, so a very good lap from him. But... Yeah, it's a bit frustrating. So coming into this final corner, let's see what we can do. Just try and grab any more time possible. And oh, I did have a step. And uh, yeah, luckily the fans have a clear mind about racing. And we just literally do a max of step and into the wall, coming across the line, and it's going to be a twenty-six point six three two. Without that, I think that would have been a point five. Good to see you, man. But still, luckily we got P two on the Ooh. grid because you can see four so other people got, got a twenty-six point nine. Three so people got in a. Quite Four good that we managed to do a, a solid banker initially. So, lining up P2 on the grid, next to Rusty, who's a very fast driver, as we know in the previous league races. And I was feeling quite good at this stage. If I could start there in the front of a league race, then normally I'm in quite a good position. My teammate, Levy, who's another incredibly quick driver, got to be wary of him in terms of strategy. So, we've got four lights. Five bites here, no pressure on the championship, so really the gloves are off. We could just do what we want. We actually get a really good start, unlike Max Verstappen this recent weekend. He always had very poor starts, but we managed to navigate through this quite nicely. But it is Dan Cooper who's on the soft tyres, gets an absolutely electric start, and we're going to be a bit sensible. We're just going to let him have this corner because the softs should be quite a bit faster than the mediums at the start of the race so we're just going to start it behind we went for a bit of a straight line speed setup which is you could actually see it in my world record attempt video it's the same thing but we already have a virtual safety car reminiscent of real life so feeling like it's going to be a safety car galore and we're just going to skip ahead a little bit because this virtual safety car went on for so long it went on for almost a complete full lap so don't know how long it takes for the marshals to clear up that wreckage or anything at all but now it has actually come back so just under a lap it took and now we are back on the way again but you can see the soft runner of dan cooper who is also a youtube member of mine he is absolutely rapid in his soft tires and you can see we're quite similar to lewis hamilton where he's absolutely rapid in a straight line but in the first sector he struggles quite a bit that's really what my car was like and you can see Dan Cooper has actually got into the lead now as Critch has unfortunately crashed which then brings out another virtual safety car and you can see my teammate is right behind me as well so I have to be a bit wary of him when it comes to the strategy so we're not going to pit now because it would be a little bit too early because you do get a benefit under the virtual safety car if you do pit so you can see we're just going to keep on the going again and now it continues and Throughout this video, it's going to be a bit of a low one, which people say they don't complain too much, but there is a lot of raw footage and a few moments where there is swearing involved. So, in advance, I'm sorry <laughs> when I swear and it gets a little bit heated because, as I just said, then in the heat of the moment, it's uh, quite easy to lose your emotions. Maybe not for some people, but myself, I always try and wear my heart on my sleeve, and what you see is typically what you get with my emotions as my teammate is now attacking me into here so hoping he wouldn't go down the inside here because it's not the best place to do it we are going to get the benefit of the drs on the exit and you'll be able to see with our straight line speed pulling away there and we live to fight another day but skipping towards the end or middle of lap six still in the drs zone so just you can see we're got quite a lot of the ERS available so not being really stretched too much oh as the virtual safety car down. now has comes out and then that actually goes into the full burn safety car so in three laps I think we've had three safety cars two virtual and now one full safety car so we haven't really had that much racing so far but this is a uh, fairly significant moment in this race so we're coming into here I wasn't thinking of pitting because the line to go into the pits is there, but then Rusty cuts it, then I cut it as well, and then my teammate then just oh, pips me into here, life, and swearing in advance. Oh, for 
fuck's sake, man. And yeah, I didn't go into the pits because I just wanted to do what Rusty did. And the rule in the league is that you cannot cut the pit lane line, the white solid line. So I didn't think he was going to go into the pits. Of course it has to be my fucking teammate behind me. And when he cut it, then I cut it. So I, I've broken the rule as well. And then my teammate has pit me go into the pits. Well. You're not allowed to do that. So, yeah, in the moment, you throw your toys out the pram a little bit, but in before someone comments, you're making excuses and moaning. That was completely my fault. I, I shouldn't have cut the pits, and I should have made it a bit more of it. It's like I'm doing here. You need to follow the dotted line. Um, that's the way you're meant to do it. But since the championship is over, I haven't really taken that seriously after the race or anything at all, but... That was just completely my fault, and I should have been a bit more decisive on what I wanted to do. So, fair play to my teammate. And, yeah, Rusty, I, I don't think we're both allowed to do that. He cut it, and I cut it as well, so I've done a double standard myself. Just before, in case anyone goes mental, that was completely my fault, 100%. So, hindsight's a wonderful thing. After the race, you look at things a bit more calmly. But in the moment, that has actually cost me quite a lot and funnily enough Codemasters have actually released the latest patch where the double stack is actually much quicker which feels like they're just trolling me at this stage when it comes to updates or tracks and stuff like that so it would have been great if they did it then because I would have lost nowhere near as much positions but we've now been pushed down to P14 so that really has stung us quite hard and now we've got a lot of work to do if we want to try and make up um, some positions this race. And you can see we actually went into the pits again because we wanted to get off the hard tyres, which are very so tired. We put on a new set of mediums and now we're going to go, go try and go to the end of this race. So I really wanted to try and get back in the podium positions if I could with these medium tyres whilst a lot of other people are on the hard tyres. So we should be able to make it to the end of this race here. And now you're going to see quite a lot of raw footage, um, as I said, because there are still some controversial moments still to come in this race here. So behind Kimi, who is a second in this championship, a very fast driver, a very nice guy as well. Um, and now we're trying to get past him here, but we're not going to use that much of the ERS at the moment. We're just going to just try and conserve it because our straight line speed is very good. And I can confirm in this league when it opens up next season that there will be a prize pool next season. Um, which I'm very excited to see what that is. So and I think hopefully if we get some consistent drivers who are there for the whole season. Should be even more intense uh, than it was. Because I think league racing in this game has just been a bit meh. It's just been... There's just little issues of this game that just really make it a draining experience. And I haven't particularly enjoyed racing online on this game at all. I think there's just been so many little bugs and issues and inconveniences that just make it a very unsatisfying experience. And I think a lot of other people have shared that opinion as well. So I really hope next game, with the assistance of EA, <laughs> that they could just do something about it because especially with esports and just online in general that it definitely needs to be a lot more of a priority than the, the casual offline game modes which usually are the main source of profit for game companies but with this day and age I think everything is becoming a much more online social media and just esports and competitiveness and stuff as well it really needs to be cranked up in terms of its stability, connectivity, its enjoyment. Because there's just so many little things like waiting on the grid for five minutes for people to load up and your tyres go minus 50 degrees or people not being able to connect to a lobby, invite only functions not working, people just disconnecting, the safety card being triggered at a pin drop. Just, there's just so many things in this game that just can easily ruin the experience in my opinion so I actually really want to hear what people think of that if I'm just talking nonsense or yeah it's uh, for me that's just how I feel so it's a, not been the best game in terms of online or league racing as there's a bit of a 
a car crash up ahead here as we're just trying to pick up the pieces and now this is where what a bit more drama starts so i'll let you listen in how the fuck was that what the fuck man overtake me then what the f what and this is another example of why this game has not been fun to play online so in advance, you'll pour out to hear a lot of swearing, oh and I will explain what's happening afterwards. Overtake me! Oh my god! Fucking overtake me, man! This game is so shit! Oh my god. Scoldfinger, overtake me, man. Overtake me! Fuck, I can't stand this. <laughs> oh my god, overtake me. Just fucking overtake me. You're just fucking us over. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna absolutely lose my shit. How does he not fucking get it? I can't fucking stand this game. And now we've just lost the pit stop to all these people. I can't stand this game. It's such a shit game, man. <laughs> And yeah, in the moment, that was very, very frustrating. So again, apologies for the swearing. The in the moment where you're very competitive, it's a pretty infuriating thing. And yeah, so basically what was happening there is that I got an illegal overtake on a Goldfinger. So I had to then let him go. But then when he overtook me... He had an illegal overtake on me or the car behind. So he had to kept we had to both keep on letting each other go. And it's just this is what I mean. Like the game allows these kind of things to happen. It's just So basically we were just in like a time loop where we just both couldn't get out of this illegal overtake because we both had it on each other. So we had a good laugh about it after the race and yeah, man, like, it's just infuriating. Imagine if that was for the championship or something. Like, it's... You pay £60 for a game, and you expect it to work. And for, lo for how long this developer's had this game, this is why I'm just not a fan. And, yeah, it's... um, No words can really describe it sometimes. And, yeah, this is why this is whole league racing experience and online experience is just... Yeah... It, it needs to be drastically, drastically improved. And sometimes you can have great races because racing can just do that when things aren't blowing up. But yeah, let me know what you think of that. Because um, it's just, it, it really is just crazy here. So we're going to be showing a lot of raw footage now um, of me trying to get back through the field. And we're just going to try and just give it everything. But the leaders, they were basically given a free pit stop since we were holding each other up so much. I was planning to stay out and maybe jump a few people. But since we were holding each other up so much, a lot of people in front and the leaders, they pitted. So they're on even fresher tyres on mediums now. And it's going to be a very difficult task. Because my tyres are going to be fairly worn coming towards the end of this race. So we're in a bit of a difficult position. But we're determined to try and get through the field now as we're getting past our oh, mine. I'm just getting a good exit up there and he decides to concede the corner. Now we've got the Alfa Romeo up ahead of us. So let's see what we can do. And again, we're just going to stay on board for quite a lot of this race just to give you a sense of what it's like to drive around this track. So my SERP here was 95 Wings. And if you are on my YouTube Discord, um, you would have had access to that. Uh, my world record attempt and also it's just in the video I did where I did the world record attempt around here the set is very very uh, similar to that so you are part of the YouTube membership you get first priority access to open lobbies which I will be doing more next week I haven't done a lot recently because I've been doing a lot of one-to-one -one coaching which I've absolutely loved to do I, 
something I've wanted to do for a long time and to see people being so happy with it and enjoying the process really makes my day and that's exactly what it's out to do so if you're interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me www.coachlimitless.com up until the 24th of december there's a lot of slots and then after christmas i'll be releasing new slots in 2022 onwards so again thank you so much to everyone who's been a part of that and if you are a youtube member you will be getting a discount on a month to month basis so one discount per month so if you had one lesson per month you'll get a discount every single time so hopefully people have enjoyed that so we're up into p7 now and we're behind the alfa romeo still we've got luciano about a couple seconds up the road here and we do have a five second we've got actually got a five second penalty because kimmy touched the back of us when all of that illegal overtake was happening and i got the five second penalty somehow even though i got run into the back of and i guess that's what it's like in real life because yeah max verstappen got the the 10 second penalty when hamilton run into the back of him but i'm not gonna open that can of worms um to be honest if you want my honest opinion i think max verstappen's driving was a little bit well not a little bit it was definitely well over the limit um, but i think for him to get the 10 second penalty for that is a bit weird it doesn't really make sense you should have just got penalty points virtual potentially safety car again. but as we have another oh virtual safety car coming out so you can tell not particularly oh, happy about but yeah i think the snap was definitely over the limit i think the fair result was hamilton winning i think his car on the straight line was just superior and he was doing what i was doing in the first sector by just trying to keep in that drs zone but i think max was a definitely too dirty this weekend in terms of the driving so i really hope there's gonna be a fair fight in abu dhabi hopefully it's not gonna result in a crash that decides the championship that would be a very uh, bittersweet end to the championship but i think no one can disagree that it's been a fantastic championship to watch so i'm very much looking forward to this weekend coming up but right here now we're trying to get back far up the grid as much as we can this DRS science I'm not even going to be using. I think I decided to turn it off quite early coming into this final corner. Or I think I did that on another lap. So we've got to open up the corner, get him to defend, compromise his line. We're going to try and get a nice exit coming off this corner. Use a little boost of the ERS for some assistance. And you can see in the straight line, it's going to be no contest going down this home straight. So now we are behind Dan Cooper and Luciardo. Some guys with some very good pace as well. We're going to try and get within the DRS zone of them. So going through this first sector, we were quite strong in this first sector. But with the Serpent running, it's mainly for a straight line here. So coming through into here, can we get within the second as we get a track limit warning here? Do we get the DRS line? Yes, we do. And I think Luciano is almost escaping the DRS of Dan up ahead. So go be try and nice and close as possible should get one of my warnings removed as well i think and yeah if i was to get another time penalty i think with that safety car drama i think i picked up a warning there um, as well so i was maybe going to get that removed if i did get another time penalty but right here now we're trying to just get close enough for this last corner to try and get him down the home straight to use that momentum to get up to the back of luciano so we're going to be quite easily within the DRS zone here as we pick it up now not using any of the boost at the moment because our straight line speed is very very fast during this race i don't think he's close enough just a tenth away from getting it from luciano so we're going to use our ers on the exit of the final corner turn 27 going down the straight i think this red light is starting to flash so we should be much quicker in the straight line and yes we are and now we are going to try and get within the DRS zone of Luciano. And the gap up to the top three is three seconds. And they're on fresher tyres as well. So it's going to be a very difficult task to get anything higher than that. But I think if we could fight back to fourth, I think that would be a pretty good comeback. Considering we're back to, I think it was P14. And because we couldn't double stack properly with our teammates. So... We're going to do the same thing again, so this lap we're just going to try and get 
as close as we can to Luciano and I think our tyres are fairly on the same level of freshness um, at this stage. So we're just going to use our straight line speed, try and get this momentum coming up this corner as we do very nice. I think he actually hit the wall on the exit there. So they're going to not use anything coming into here. You can see the delta behind is increasing ever so slightly. It's now coming into this very, very fast corner where Leclerc crashed on the exit. Bit of a dangerous corner that is. And right here now, I think since we've got so much momentum, we're not even going to wait for the last corner. We're actually going to overtake him here. And I felt like we would have enough pace to get a good exit off this corner, turn 27, and then try and go after the leaders. And you can see our straight line speed, the good exit. Gap is already up to seven tenths of a second. You can see the gap to the leaders now is a little bit too far in five laps. So as we come into the final corner, the final lap, they were actually just pulling away with the fresher tyres. So they just had more pace on those tyres. Levy, my teammate, wins the race. So GG to him, he's a very, very fast driver. Raced him many times in the past. So GG to him, Alpha and Rusty. We had a good fight back to fourth. And yeah, I think I aged about five years or 10 years. I guess it's probably a little in that race. So that was my first league racing experience at Jeddah. Thank you for everyone who was watching the stream. We will be doing, I think, Abby Dabby this weekend. So I really look forward to that. Again, thank you to everyone who has done my one-to-one -one coaching at coachlimitless.com for joining the YouTube membership. If you are an extra rotation member, I will be giving you a shout out in a future video. As always, I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you very soon. Peace.